We all know Pixel Experience is a Google customized skin which runs on all Pixel smartphones. This is the one of the purest form of Android which runs so smooth on these devices. But installing the Pixel Experience on a specific Android device is sort of impossible if it's incompatible. But thanks to the developers who profoundly made available Pixel Experience for most of the Android devices. So I have installed Pixel Experience based on Android Pi 9.0 on my Poco F1. So this is my review on Pixel Experience running on Poco F1. So let's get started. By the time of making this video, Pixel Experience is coded as official, so which means you can use it as your daily driver. If you want to know how to install Pixel Experience on Poco F1 or any other Android device, check the link in the description for that video. Pixel Experience brings all of the features that you have already seen on Pixel devices. This ROM will completely transform your smartphone into a Pixel device. It brings a tons of new features to the system. Since the ROM uses an Android Pie as a base, which includes a new features like a digital well-being, a brand new application which will let you know the usage of your device. It also brings a brand new live wallpapers to the system which are quite amazing. It has a brand new material design version 2 which replaces all the colors with white and dark along with a Google brand new font applied throughout the system. Seriously, you will love your Android device after installing a Pixel experience on your specific droid. Being an iOS user, I really like the way that what Google did with the Android Pie. Overall, I can say a Pixel experience is damn smooth. All of the animations and transitions are impressive. You can also add a gesture control system which is made available in this ROM. If you go to the settings, about systems and here you find the option called gestures. And make sure you have turned on this option which will replace the normal navigation soft keys with this small pill. When you are inside the home screen and swiping up will take you to the app switcher where you can see all of the previously opened applications. To quickly uh, jump to the previous application from the current application, all you do is use a gesture by simply uh, sliding this pill to the right will take you to the previous application. Also holding this pill and sliding across will help to the uh, switch between the applications seamlessly. So this is a magic that Google did with gestures. But the only problem with this gesture control system is that you cannot go back to the previous page or even you won't be able to jump back to the home screen from any current application. For instance, if I'm inside the Google Chrome, every time I need to uh, go back to the previous page, I have to still use this uh, back button which is sort of bummer. I really hope so that Google will follow the iPhone 10 gesture control system in the next version of Android. Let's talk about the performance. I detested MIUI on Xiaomi devices. I really prefer buying a Xiaomi smartphones not for the MIUI but just for the specifications. This company is made for a making a better SOC available at decent price. So I always like to run a stock Android on my Xiaomi device. For this video, I'm using a Poco F1 and I have flashed the Pixel experience on it. Guess what? So this ROM is unimaginably a much much better than the MIUI in terms of performance. It is fast and so smooth and I'm finally satisfied with this device. When I bought this device just for the Snapdragon 845 and I really don't care about the cameras, display or anything. So when I bought this, I really detested the MIUI but I like a Poco launcher. I was really tinkering with this device and finally I managed to flash an Android Pie. Now I'm currently using it as my daily driver for almost a few months now. It is been amazing. Everyday tasks are snappier and blazing fast. All your applications opens up instantly and super fast. The multitasking is greatly optimized and it's really a quite responsive. I did also try playing heavy games like PUBG, the Asphalt 9 Legends and it handles a damn good. I didn't face any heating issues thanks to the liquid cooling technology. You can also install a Poco launcher just in case if you're missing. So the bottom line, the performance of Pixel Experience on Poco F1 is stupendous. You can use it as your daily driver, all of the things are working fine except the face ID and stock camera has sometimes a lag a little bit.
And last but not the least, let's talk about the battery. It has a 4000 mAh battery in it, and thanks to the Pixel Experience and Android Pie, the battery backup is so good. You can just understand that I charge this device in the morning, and thanks to the a quick charge, which will charge my device up to 80% in 2 hours. Then I leave to my work, I turn on Bluetooth, LTE, the location services, and maintaining the manual brightness at half, which simply gives me the battery backup of up to 7 hours. That's not a pretty bad. So overall, the bottom line of this video, the Poco F1 handles a Pixel experience without any hiccups. So I definitely encourage you to try this ROM. That's pretty much about it. Thanks for watching. I will catch you in my next one. Peace.